So I have just powered on the Miraki MX64 and I have connected it to the laptop using the LAN port 1 to the laptop and as we can see uh, it is having a solid orange light here and when I'm going to uh, I was going through the setup instruction and I was trying to open the as from the setup instruction as you can see I was trying to open the setup.miraki.com but all that's happening right now is uh, it's uh, trying to open but it's nothing is opening it's just flashing between miraki.com to Miraki web page it's redirecting between those two pages so uh, what we are going to do here we are trying we'll try to uh, we'll try a factory reset of this device to see if that helps to factory reset uh, what you need to do is you need to go to the back of the device so you see this uh, uh, you see this uh, reset uh, option here so uh, what uh, so we will use a pen so you need a a pin to reset it so we are going to use this pen uh, it's not supplied with the box so I'm going to use my own mobile pin to reset it so I'm going to put it in and wait for 10 seconds full factory reset and then we'll see how it goes so when it does this factory reset it flashes all the slides I'm just going to wait for a few more times. I think it is over 10 seconds. So I'm going to release the reset button and see if anything happens here. Let's see the LED status here. Right now it's uh, solid orange. I'm going to remove the cable from here and do a quick power cycle still I see the orange one here I'm going to put in my LAN cable here I don't see any light so after doing the power cycle, it did not help much. So I have to go through the permit upgrade process for which you need to connect the, your Miraki device to the internet using the internet port here. And uh, uh, once I upgrade the firmware, it took like around 10 minutes. And then I can see a solid white here, which means the device is fully operational. And now I have connected it to uh, my laptop using the LAN port and when we go to the setup.miraki.com i can see a healthy connection uh, here and it says like security appliance is functionally normal uh, and here we have multiple options here connections configure internet we'll go through that in a while so if you want to uh, uh, set your ethernet uh, you need to go to the control panel so for that you can go to the control panel uh, inside that you'll have to go to the uh, network and internet inside that uh, we'll see the network so this network 3 is the the one connected to my Miraki device here so if I need to do if you need to do any changes in the adapter settings so click here and then right click on the uh, your local LAN connection swing there and then go to the TCP, uh, TCP IP4 and click on the properties if you are using default setting of the Miraki dashboard just leave it as it is but if you want to configure to a specific IP that you already know of click here uh, you need to fill in all the details here for the IP address, subnet mask and default gateway and also preferred DNS servers you can use the Google DNS server here 8888 uh, and also do a check box here which will validate your settings upon exit and click ok so i'm using a default setting so i'm not going to do any of these settings here but you can always come back and change it so uh, now we'll go to the console of the miraki dashboard and see how it looks like so you can launch your dashboard uh, using different websites that miraki supports uh, like setup.miraki.com mx.miraki.com 
y.miraki.com or my.miraki.com over here i am using the setup.miraki.com uh, and in the left hand side you can see it's showing a healthy internet connection uh, with my device and uh, over here you can see uh, the modem ip and the client mac address uh, and then you have option to run the speed test so if i you know, click here it will show me the speed test i'm going to stop it uh, then in below uh, over here you can see all the details related to the device like network name hardware address product model ethernet uh, what ip is connected to and uh, internet uh, is connect whether it's connected or not and also you can go to the like a cloud dashboard from here uh, let's go to the configure we have multiple options here to customize if your internet provider wants you to use a certain VLAN then set it to use VLAN tagging else leave it to the don't use VLAN tagging uh, for the connection type if you want to use the static IP address change it to PPoE or skip it to direct if you want to set a static IP here use the static else we will leave it to DSAP uh, over here we have only one internet uh, Port, or you can say a WAN port so it will show you only one internet option here uh, it won't show you multiple like other MS devices uh, and if you want to use the proxy uh, set this user proxy to yes else leave it to no and then you can click on save to save these configurations uh, then we will go to the ethernet section over here you will see all the a van port and uh, uh, the link negotiation over there like uh, how much uh, mps of speed it supports and you will see here is like all the for lan ports one to four uh, it's showing you enable while for the internet it's it's not it's disabled that means you can't change the internet to disabled it will be always enabled uh, this this setting is not allowed to be made disabled by you so you can only do the configuration on the LAN port in, in terms of enabling or disabling uh, but on internet you can't do anything that's all about Miraki console configuration and settings hope you find this video informative goodbye cheers